Good morning. This is Tuesday, Adams. It's um, 11. Oh, it's 10.08. 10, 10.08, I think. Yeah. 10.08 a.m. And it's um, July 28th. It's um, Friday. Okay. So now what we're going to do is uh, go through my text messages. Okay. It's been... Okay. So... I came out here in March, okay, I sold my RV, and I gave my son the money, but I put it in a money order, um, I gave him $500 to put down on another RV out here that was supposed to be here and ready for me, well, he didn't tell me that he was behind on rent, so, he used it on rent. The next month, I paid $300 on rent, but the water got shut off, so I had to pay $150 to get the water turned back on. Okay, so that's um, almost, that's $450. I paid, I ended up giving $50 for food or a little bit more. Okay, so that was in May, or in um, April. Okay, May, I knew I was going to lose all my stuff in storage, because I have books that I wrote, and I have all my files and stuff in there. So what I did was go ahead and rent a U-Haul because I was working at the bar in Paris. And I rented a U-Haul and went to Indiana and come back with my stuff. Okay, well, during May, this, that was Mother's Day, okay, I had an argument with the guy next door, okay. And then they got a job working at a factory, okay, making headlights which they make like $25, $30 an hour, both of them, okay, and he's, okay, so this is what, okay, so, so I've been here, I got a job at Pizza Man, okay, got the electricity turned on in my name, talked to the landlord, paid the rent, June, paid the rent in July, okay, 23rd, she came out with an eviction notice saying I owe $745 more, okay, even though she gave me a receipt, okay, so I'm going to show you Okay, so then I, I contacted the FBI. I made a kidnapping report. I contacted missing persons report. I mean, missing persons um, agency and reported my son missing. I reported my son kidnapped. Um, I called the Douglas County Sheriff. I called the, the Newman Chief. Um, I had them all out here. And I started a cleaning business, and I was working for this guy named Robert and then this guy named Jake. Okay, well, they both dumped me because they thought I was about sex or something. <laughs> and um, so, you know, it's, oh, hell, what, yeah, you know, I cleaned a hot tub. I cleaned a refrigerator. I cleaned a stove. I cleaned um, a dishwasher, um, you know, tubs, toilets, sinks, showers. Did the dishes, you know, microwave, you know, major, you know, appliances and just dishes and basically, you know, deep cleaning. <laughs> um, one place I did my laundry, one place let me do the, my laundry. So anyway, and then uh, the other day I met this lady who bought some of my jewelry. Well, anyway, so this is my son contacted me after I made the video on, um, made the video. So I, I had told him this was Sunday, June 4th, June 4th at 7:48. I tried to call nothing. Okay. Stop by the apartment, unlock the bedroom, please. And give me your new number. This is illegal. Tell me where you live. Okay. Because I could not get a hold of any of them. They cut off all contact. Okay. He just texted me yesterday, which was the 27th of July, okay, which was over 30 days, okay, we got June 4th to July 4th is one month, to the 27th is 23 days, okay, so we got, what, he texts me, what you're doing is illegal and I have no reason to talk to you after this you're just a liar and a hypocrite and a thief your last chance was wasted your life could be so easy but you just made your child suffer on last time <laughs> before you die 
one last time before you die, and I hope you live a long life with your lies, and I will miss you, but as far as I'm concerned, you're no longer allowed to be a part of my life. I hope you get what you want out of life. Please leave me alone forevermore. I said, Taylor, are you kidding me? I said, I've never done anything but love you and fight over you and be robbed and beaten and stolen from trying to keep them from abusing and kidnapping you. Don't blame me at all, because you are not stupid. He said, do you even pay rent there? Are you still living in Newman for free? I said, I've never made anyone suffer. I don't have that kind of personality. That is a torturer. And this would be you, not me. And then I said, fine. Yes, I pay rent. Okay. What is this? Okay. My money order receipt. I don't know. Uh, something's wrong. If, well, my money order receipt. Okay, so why? Okay, so I, anyway, I gave, I showed him pictures. Okay, well, this one. Okay, so. Um, all right, here's. Uh-huh. Uh. Okay, so here's my money order receipt. Okay. Um hang on, let me see if I can let me see here. Uh, uh, uh there we go. Um see my money order receipt. Okay, see what that says? Uh come here. Uh, uh, I'm trying. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, okay. I'm trying to let you get to see, to see this. Okay. So that says Jew rent. Okay. Okay. Then I sent him this picture. Okay. Okay, it says, oops, oh my god, okay, <laughs> it says, July, okay, July rent, okay, <laughs> yeah, okay, so then, you know, of course, I've got water bill receipts and a check that I made out for the water company okay then I've got um okay okay so civil rights consumer fraud okay, disability rights okay um Okay, so evidently this is the eviction notice. Okay. Okay, and then. Okay, so look. This is what she erased. She erased this. Okay, she erased three pictures. Which was this one, which is the um, June print receipt. Okay. All right. And then she erased. The eviction notice I had. This is an eviction notice. So notice to pay rent or vacate. Okay. And notice that that is seven okay oops seven oops seven okay seven twenty three twenty three okay okay and this july rent and it says 
of $95. Okay, and on the eviction notice, it says, I owe seven, say $745. Okay. That is Tamara Elston. Fucking dirty name. And um, then, okay, so then I've got. Okay. This is Disability Rights Bureau. Okay, I sent that to her. Okay, and I sent. Consumer Fraud Bureau, okay, Consumer Fraud Bureau, okay, and then Civil Rights Bureau, okay, and then um, Request for Pertaining to Military Records, sent that to her. Okay, then I sent her this, which is causing an injury. Okay, that's my, the thing for my um, prescriptions. Then I had to go to the doctor because it's fucking driving me crazy. Okay, and then this is my meeting with a social worker. Okay, those are my notes out of my folder for a social worker. And the date on that is... 72423. Okay, so let's finish this. Okay, let's finish this. Okay. So, she's okay. So, so then, um, <coughs> so that's what I sent her. And, um, then I said, Happy 31st birthday in two weeks. I said, I get a real phone on Saturday. Good for you. Thanks to us. It must be nice living there while we are homeless. Must must have been nice to use us all along. This is a prime example of taking something from underneath your son. Have a good life. Goodbye. I'm like, excuse me. Okay, so I said, oh, please. How more crazy butt-ass backwards could you be? Unique glasses. You can't see things clearly, but let me put things into perspective for you. Uh, into proper perspective for you. Here, adjust the lens you're looking through while wipe off while wipe off the smudge and fix the blurred vision. Number one, you came and got me. Number two, I sold my RV. And number three, gave you the money for the one you said was waiting here for me. Number four, you lied. And number five, did not tell me you were behind in rent. So, number six, you used my RV money for your past due rent. Number seven, you said you were going to fix my bad brakes on my truck. So, number eight, we left my truck over at your girlfriend's grandparents in Indiana. Number nine, you did not follow through. Plus, number ten, you used me for my money, then deserted me. And number eleven, cut off all contact, blaming me and being 100% racist against me only, which, number twelve, qualified that misconduct right there as criminal and grand theft auto, carrying up to 20 years in prison. So, number thirteen... Not wanting to ruin your clean record or your good reputation, I let it go. Number 14, I am stranded with no transportation. And 15, everyone believed I was a child molester when I don't have a sex offender's record, which number 16 qualified that mischief as criminal and endangered my life. And it, 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 it qualifies for malicious. A lawsuit causing injuries is a tort claim because of the danger of the false rumors and gossip and slander and defamation of character. Need I go on? Okay, then I certainly can and will continue. 17, this was so abusive, it was intentional, which qualified as another crime, malicious intent. Furthermore, premeditation, 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 premeditated murder. Now, beat that.
you are not allowed to use elderly, disabled people's money and disregard their health and well-being. There are criminal charges for that criminal malice intent. You plan to be mean from the beginning. Okay. So, that's why. That's why. Okay. And then when I, um, uh, I sent her, look, when I sent her those pictures, look, you can tell she erased them. Okay, this is where the, okay, see, see how she erased it? Hang on. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, see where the pictures are? Right here. She erased it. Okay. Okay, and then let me see if I can do this. Uh, I don't know um, if you can see that. Oh, bless it. It does not look like I can. Okay, see, you can kind of see where the picture was. Okay, so then, look, here's another one that's just like that. Okay, and then, okay, then here's another one that's just like that. Okay, so she erased, or he erased, three important pictures on purpose. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? Oh, this is Amelia Earhart, the girl that went missing, you know, on that plane. I think she was a naval officer. 